Oh, my thing is glitching. Uh, hello. That was an odd thing. We're back on the Animal Empire. Some things have changed. Uh, large item frame. Um, and a few other things. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't make this on camera. Because, yeah. This is, like, my enchanting room. The locking system is a little weird, I know. Uh, yeah. Enchanting room. Magic. Ma this is, like, my magical barrel. I moved it up here. Because, uh, magic room, magic barrel. This is not the permanent area for the enchanting setup. I'm gonna make like a bubble, like my house. Down there. Uh, some other things. I found a village, so I have no, I have beetroot now. Yes, I understand. Beetroot sucks. Like, most people don't even know how to craft beetroot soup, because no one likes beetroot. I knew how to craft beetroot soup since I learned that beetroot was a thing. Which was actually a bit after I started playing. And the reason why is because, well, YouTube. And I just like to make random stuff and... Sometimes you just like, what is this useful for? So you search it up. Oh, and we have mushrooms because 1.18 generation placed a mushroom biome right next to our area. Like a ways that way. Out of the loaded. Do you know how you can tell if there's a mushroom islands nearby? There would be purple water. You might be able to see it. Shoot, I don't have my spyglass. Well, I'll go get that and then I'll show you. Ooh, sea turtle. I might want a sea turtle farm. Like, you know, you get the eggs. So you can have turtle shells. Because I kind of want a turtle shell helmet. And, like enchant it with respiration and aqua infinity and stuff uh oh i never showed this this is my snow farm basically you come over here and you just go like that it works very well uh i definitely have showed this on camera this is my chicken farm i followed a tutorial i forgot whose tutorial but I followed someone's tutorial. If you recognize this, let me know. Because I feel like a horrible person for not remembering. Uh, egg farm. You know, just generic egg farm. Mushroom farm, cow farm. You know the drill. Oh, the unnamed fox that I like to call Michael. Oh, you guys haven't seen this. During Christmas we... Uh, had like a little Christmas thing, we filled presents, and then get gifted them to each other, me and Jirachi. It was really fun. Oh, and we had two for the gods. One for Nick, one for Galnia. Ooh, do you know, did I explain Nick? I don't know if I did. I have horrible memory. Uh... There, so he, his real name is Rother, or Rother, or something like that. It's spelled like brother. It's step, instead of B R, it's R H. So he's either Rother or Rother, or Rother. So, yeah, he's the god of foxes. Jirachi likes foxes, so he followed him. They are very mischievous and things. He likes treasure, uh, berries, and chicken. <coughs> That's his whole thing. I forgot what his sacrifices were. Uh, I serve Galnia. I'm pretty sure I explained Galnia. 
But in case you're new here, this is only the second video because I decided to delete that other one I made, which had me just setting up that little shop. Because I said real names too many times. Uh huh. Ganya, she is the goddess of all axolotls. Her sacrifice is tropical fish. You stick a tropical fish in here, and it gets sucked down somewhere. This is a little platform that she makes. I made the beautiful statue. I'm gonna come back and replace these with lanterns, I think. Maybe posts with lanterns, something like that. So, so yeah, I don't think so much has changed. Oh, wait, actually, something else has changed. Drachia also made his god a statue. So, if we just run over there, I can show you his statue. Now be warned. It might be a little scary. He imagines Nick as like an arctic nine-tailed fox and things. Yeah, you can already see it. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm a little bit of a cold right now. So. If that shows up on the mic. That's going to suck, but <laughs> look at this masterpiece. Honestly, to me, it looks like a polar bear, but we're going to ignore that. What is in your mouth? It's a feather. Okay, I'm going to let you sleep. Like if you sneak, you can just sneak up on any fox ever. Oops, we'll come up. That's okay, because we're leaving anyways. I forgot to grab my telescope. Or spyglass, or whatever. It is a spyglass, but I like to call it the telescope. I just really love this little area so nice except for um the portal yeah it's a little annoying oh i don't know if yeah i didn't have potatoes at that time the potatoes came from i think a zombie drop yeah Found a village with no villagers. And no, it was not an abandoned village. I think it's because... Uh, I had peaceful mode temporarily on. And it, t peaceful mode has been glitching out mobs. It glitched out Mushrooms for us. And it apparently must have glitched out the villagers. I can go back and check. But reason why we hit peaceful mode is because uh, we went on an adventure to find that Mushroom Islands. Because I was the, on the other side of this like little continent area. So I didn't know how close it was to our base. <coughs> Even though Jirachi did say it. Hmm. What am I looking for here? Oh, my spyglass. That should be here. Okay. Yeah, I now have a bell that I don't yeah. Emeralds. I am so happy that I have emeralds. I want to trade with a wandering trader for some moss. <coughs> so we're going to Go and see that nice little Mushroom Islands. Is it a Mushroom Islands or a Mushroom Islands? I think you can see the very tip of it. 
Well, yeah, because that fog's different. Fe don't worry, I will be going over the that way. Because the village is kind of that way, so. I really would like sea pickles. Okay, see? So, I'm Bedrock Edition. I don't know if this applies to Java. I don't think so. The water in Amusham Island is, like, purpley gray. Like, mycelium. I don't know if that's supposed to imply that the waters around Amusham Island are filled with a bunch of fungus, but... <coughs> hey. I don't know. Then there's just this little area that doesn't have anything in it. So that village is somewhere around this way. sea pickles to light up my pond. Okay, right here. Yeah, there were just no villagers. Up oh, and the boat disappeared. Uh, I'll re-log later. <coughs> yeah, boats disappear now. Wonderful. No one knows where they go. Just that they don't exist anymore. I know I turned it back to normal. I turned it to peaceful so I wouldn't lose all my stuff. Yeah, call me cheater all you want, but... Eh. Stole the bell from here. And no villagers. Can I steal? Yeah. Stole from there already. Let's hate these. There's no villagers to use them anyways. It's the blast furnace because we don't have enough fellows already. Why did I just continue opening this door? I don't really like these nice little taiga villages. <coughs> That's what they are. I think. All right, I just stole the guitar at first table. That's how I got the large item frame. Ooh. Must have not have gone in here. This is a really nice area. I wish I had villagers. But it's a nice little area nonetheless. Uh... I'm going to be loud for my bow, aren't I? Don't remember where I supposedly parked it and it glitching out. Oh, wait. It exists again. Okay. We can get out of here. Oh, I'm just going to fast travel back home. See you in a bit. Fox area. 
And the book disappeared, but that's alright. And I can't break it. No, it's not going to reappear. Okay. Well, we're back. Um, usually I just do chores around here, so I don't really know what to do. Maybe we'll do a little farming. Yeah. Breeds up some cows, make some bookshelves, and I fell off of there. Make some bookshelves. Enchant that diamond pig axe. Maybe get some silk touch for the axe. Twenty-eight. That's a little low. Really? Only twenty-nine? Okay. Thirty-one, I guess. Suitable. Keep some on me so I can make stuff. Why do beetroots have the same sound as wood planks? That's the wood plank sound, right? Yeah. Seeds that tough. Hmm. I might trade in these for those. Yeah. Actually, nah. I don't want to do that. What the heck is with the leg? I get it, potatoes are a lot. But, you don't need to freak out. I can't wait until I get Minecraft on my laptop. Got a laptop for Christmas. And I want to play Minecraft on it. Both editions, by the way. Because I'm pretty sure you can play both editions on Windows 10. Gets like stacks of wheat. I guess because I devoted half of it to potatoes and green root, but still. Oh, it's because I have a stack over here. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Stay hydrated, folks. Okay. Let's place a new blast furnace here. Uh, yeah, I'll just put the torch on top of it. I was so much iron on freaking buckets. Because... One, I love collecting tropical fish. Especially the ones with the single names. Like the butterfly fish. Not that one. Threadfin and clownfish. Oh, I gave a goat the goat fish to Jirachi. I think I caught that on camera. Not sure though. 
But I gave a goat fish to Jirachi, nonetheless. Yep, perfect. Uh Oh, this video's already freaking twenty minutes. Um Well first let's breed up ten cows. Where did all my cows go? I can kill these for leather. But that feels a little messed up. And they're kind of cramped. I'm thinking about having like some mushroom service. Like transporting a bunch of mushrooms around. Hey, can I feed this to you? No. I don't know why I can't feed flowers to mushrooms. But anyway. That is all I have time for today. I know we didn't do like anything, but I think it was nice to just look around and stuff. So if you enjoyed, uh, you already know what to do. It's freaking YouTube. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry. And, um, I guess, praise the axolotl. Hey, what if I use a spyglass when I'm like this? Oh, the spyglass doesn't go with my eye. That's a little disturbing. Unless I do this. But then again, still not. Well, see you later.